Okay, that's a good fish. Jeez. What do we have, guys? I haven't seen it yet. What's up, people? I'm excited about today, guys. Today I'm in Rogersville, and guys, this is the first time I've ever been here when it's summertime. And at the boat launch, I actually was greeted by a whole group of ducks. They really, uh... This dude's trying, this dude's trying to eat my kayak, man. Anyway, they've been crowding me. I mean, I know I'm kind of like, you know, a big deal on YouTube, but, you know, I need a little privacy. Anyway, we're gonna hit the water, we're gonna head up to the spill, and hopefully we're gonna catch some monster fish. I honestly don't know what's there. This is the highest I've ever seen the water level. I've come armed with lots of large shiners from Brummett's Bait and Tackle in Hampton, Tennessee. Hope you guys will check them out. If you guys know me, you know that I like to go around and see if I can leave the place nicer than I find it. And guys, just at a glance, there's a ton of trash everywhere. So let's quickly take a few minutes, pick up some trash, and then let's hit the water and go catch something big. All right, people, so. I've got my entourage right here, and uh, they are living in filth, so let's help them out a little bit. I mean, look at this, guys. There's just trash absolutely everywhere. Another lost soul, okay? I'm sorry, I can't help the jokes. I'm a dad. Guys, a company reached out to me by the name of Call Call and or Cow Cow, I can't figure that out, but they do awesome boots and they sent me a pair to try out for my next video, which happens to be today. I'm pretty happy with the way they've performed so far especially when you're walking around in places like this. It's nice to have a good pair of boots. But right, man, now check this out. Now this is a real problem right here. Look at that bundle of line. I've seen more um, ducks and geese get lines wrapped around their feet. And obviously I don't want my entourage getting messed with, so gotta take care of those guys. Guys, I can't believe this. Look at this pile of trash right here. Golly, dude. Pack out what you pack in. This is unacceptable, guys. You can't, you can't do this. Guys, right here in my hand, that's no joke. I mean, that's a full trash bag. We've done our part. We've made the place nicer and we found it. Now let's hit the water. Let's go catch something big. Here they are, guys. The entourage. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, see? A little bit nicer. Yeah. They want my trail mix. You can't have it. This cost me top dollar at that gas station back there, okay? All right. So guys, anything that's above the boat ramp, gotta wear a life vest. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to talk to the people. Let's launch this boat. So guys, I'm looking at debris in the water and it appears that the far side of the river is the way to go. I'm so curious, you know, what's gonna be up here. My, my initial thoughts are like, you know, catfish, bass, but boy, I wonder if there's maybe some hybrid that we don't know about that are like hanging out up there. I don't know. There's some clay right there. Zing it right over here by this clay. It looks like a, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got smoked. Come on, come back for him. Come back for him. What? What the heck? A bass came up and I think it hit my bobber. All right, so see, here's a good spot. So earlier a bass actually came up and hit my bobber when I saw some clay. So we're gonna come up to this clay right here and we're gonna cast at it and see if maybe lightning strikes twice. This time it just hits the bait instead of the bobber. There we go, right up against that mud right there, guys. That looks like a good spot. I think he might be getting attacked right now, guys. Yep, it's under. Oh, it just came off, it just came off. All right, we're gonna throw it right back in there. Something's, oh, oh, right here, right here, right here. Right here. A little bass. There he is. <laughs> Got him. All right. So, guys, first fish of the day is a bass. There it comes. All right, little dude, get out of here. Ooh, ooh. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Oh, yeah. Really big small mouth. Okay. All right. Oh man, oh he's big. Oh, almost caught him. Oh my goodness. Stay on big fish. Oh, need to backpedal a little bit. He absolutely smoked it, yes. Oh man. Now that's a nice fish right there. Okay, hooks out. Hooks out and check out that beauty. All right guys, that is awesome. Let's go ahead and let him go. Good start. 
All I'm gonna do is just hug the edge here, come around to where it gets slack again. Yeah, just right here, perfect. There we go, guys, this is a great spot here. I'm gonna push back, this is normally in the spring, I can stand right here, um, but obviously this time of year it's a little bit different, but honestly it feels like a safe place where I can fish, so I like that. Pitch it right up next to that current, that's where I, I'm assuming bass are hanging out. If I was a bass, that's where I would hang out. Oh yeah, it's under, oh, missed him, missed him. Something definitely grabbed him, guys. Oh, he's under again. Oh, 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 big fish. Big fish just ripped off the shiner, guys. Oh my gosh, no, it broke the line. No way, no way. Oh man, new hook, more split shot. All right, guys, let's go right back over there and see if he's got a buddy. Oop, it's under, fish on. Big fish, guys, big fish. Oh man, it is pulling hard right now. Goodness. Oh, it's a big fish. Man, look at that rod bend, guys. Oh, he's not giving me an inch right now. I'm having to actually backpedal so he doesn't pull me into the current. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a good fish. Jeez. What do we have, guys? I haven't seen it yet. Oh my goodness. Oh, goodness, man. What is it? Oh, big bass, guys. Oh, it's a monster smallie. Yeah, in the net. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that smallmouth, guys. Jeez, oh my gosh, look at this bass, guys. This thing fought like crazy. Just another monster, just right here at the mouth. Let's go ahead and throw him back. Woo! Back pedal a little bit to a safer spot and then let's recast. I don't love being right this close to the action. I like to be a little bit removed from it, but that bass kind of drug me around a little bit. I think we're gonna grab a swim bait real quick. I wanna switch it up because I know I can cover more water if I throw out a swim bait. And in the spring, I've had quite a bit of success out here with the swim bait. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch it up. All right, guys, so here we go. We got our swim bait. It's got a little weed guard on it. I don't think that's necessary for this spot, but regardless, we're gonna pitch it out into the current, and just kind of rip it back. Oh, fish on. Thumped it. Nice, what is that? I think we've got a white bass on, guys. Yeah, very nice. A big, big, healthy white bass. That's fun. So he thumped this one bait. He liked that. That tells me we've got a few white bass in the mix, which means, turns out we could have a hybrid or two out here. Check that one out, guys. Very cool. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like that. So guys, I just heard some uh, rumble in the distance. I need to check the weather app real quick and see what we're dealing with here. I'm gonna try to get where I can get to some cell reception because this, this looks pretty nasty. And the last thing you wanna do is get caught out in a storm far away from a boat ramp and a kayak. All right guys, so I just pulled up underneath this locust tree. Uh, look who it is, the entourage. I knew you guys would find me a little bit. I'll do autographs later. It says, uh, rain's expected to stop again in 36 minutes, is all it's given me at the moment. So I think I'm gonna set up camp here. I'm gonna get out, get the um, boat secure. We're gonna wait it out. I'm gonna build a little shelter right here, and uh, we'll get back on the water once I feel like it's safe. So guys, I've made a little lean-to here, just with some debris I found on the side of the bank. It's <laughs> raining pretty good. I've got my boat secured right here and uh, we're just waiting out the thunderstorm and uh, once it's passed through, we'll get back out in the water, go back to fishing. All right guys, so I waited out the storm. It took about 35 to 40 minutes, but we've got clear skies. The rain is starting to slow down quite a bit 
and uh, more importantly, there's no more thunder or lightning that I've heard for quite a while. So I think it's safe to get back on the water, get back to fishing. Let's head back up to the spill, see if we can catch some more fish. So we're back at the spillway again. This time we're on the far right side. I was over on the far left. Don't like that. Oh, fish on guys. We've got a fish on. I'm just backpedaling a little bit to get away from the current. Let's see what we got here. Woo! Strong fish, guys. Really strong fish. Oh, what is that? Whoa, what is that? It's either a white bass or a hybrid. I can't tell. I think it's a white bass. Yeah, another white bass, guys. That's cool. The hook is out. Check it out. Another beauty. Oh no. <laughs> and there he goes. I mean, you guys can see the storm pushing back in again. It's just like wave after wave of storm. That's how it goes when you get a day off. Sometimes the weather does not cooperate. Some days it does. Today it's just the bite's good, but the weather's not any good. All right, guys, well, that front push through. The weather says it's going to be misting or drizzling for the next hour and then it should stop. So it actually feels pretty good. It's like just being misted on. So, hoo, hoo. there we go. Oh, ripped it out. Guys, something absolutely smashed him right there. Let's go right back to it. Let's go right back to it. That fish will still be there. He did not feel the hook. There he goes. Fish on. What do we got? Oh, good tug. Woo. Oh. oh yeah. Let's see. Looks like a white bass. Yep. Oh, got him. In the net, guys. White bass in the net. Got it. There he goes. All right, guys, well, I've just pulled off. I'm literally, like right over here is the main spill and then there's like this big cove that comes back in here. It's not very deep. I wanna say maybe like five to six feet deep right in front of me, but I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of fish swimming around. I wanna throw out a couple of Carolina rigs with um, worms on them to see if anything else bites. All right, guys, so we got two night crawlers out and we're just gonna hang out here for just a little bit longer before we head back to the car. See if we can maybe hook one more species of fish here. Look at this one, guys. Fish on. I was watching him just nibbling on it. What do we have here? Good, good fight. What in the world is that? <laughs> no way. I can't believe it, guys, but we've just caught a bass. Largemouth bass. All right, there we go. Nice. Not a bad largemouth either. That was a lot of fun to catch him. You just never know what you're going to catch when you throw a worm out. I was expecting carp or catfish and we get a large mouth. That was cool. So this is the biggest problem I'm running into here at Rogersville is there are a ton of like weeds, some that are connected to the bottom of the river, some that are just free floating. But occasionally you'll go through them with your prop and you can feel it as soon as you hit it. The whole thing just like gunks up. You can't hardly move. It's just crazy. Whoa. Something's got him. Fish on. <laughs> no way. That is a tiny little bass, but we'll take him. <laughs> it's still action. Large mouth bass, guys. Guys, I've slowly been working my way back to the boat ramp. It's within eyesight and I want to finish off strong. We've got, I've got a pretty cool looking bank over here. There's a lot of mixture of rock and like just tall grass. So let's finish off strong. Let's see if we can catch one more fish. Ooh, so guys, a bass just jumped right over here up against these, these reeds. So we're gonna go ahead and cast right over there. See if that bass is still around. Yep. Oh, fish on, fish on. No way, <laughs> I got him. 
he was so little he was just kind of swimming around with the fish in his mouth but i couldn't even tell all right here we go well guys i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did if you guys would like to see more rogersville episodes i've got a fun spring bite right here or if you prefer to see me catching a big striped bass out of my kayak i've got a fun one right here for you Till next time tight lines Three, two, one.